today I'm going to show you how to do a mermaid. It's also for Holly and Electra. So I'm just going to move this up. <laughs> Let's go. Right, all you need is paper, paper and a pencil. Okay, so what we need to do is it's going to be a whole kind of mermaid on a stone. So what you want to do is work out how your paper is. So it's going to be portrait. And you're going to do, you're going to start off with a head. So you're just going to do a head like that. Don't worry if it's small, don't, well, not too small. Just think bake bean. It's always a bake bean. Then we want to do line down, line down. So you're doing a neck and the line down. It's a bit wonky, but don't worry, you can do it so it's straight if you want. Then we're going to do two shoulders. So we're going to go, ah, and then, ah. so just think about, look at my shoulders. So I've got my head, two lines, and now my shoulders. Then we're going to do an arm. But before we do that, I want to sort of do the straps as well as the arms. So the straps are going to come down from here and here. So what I want to do is put your pencil about there. And you're going to go down. You're going to make this into a strap. So you can do a little strap like that. And then decide where you want to put it here. Normally it's a little bit kind of in the middle of that line. So you've got two straps going down. And that's going to be almost like my straps of my top. And then we're going to do the arms. But before we do the arms, I want to do the fact that she's she's got shells for her top. So they're going to be shells, like really cool clam shells. So we're going to do a big circle there and a big circle there. Try and get them the same and these are going to be her top. So we're going to do line, line and this now becomes shells. So you know those shells you can get. I think you get them in the shops. Coquille Saint-Jacques is um, a French way of saying it. <laughs> so that's kind of like her top. So what you could do is then rub out, you can rub out the, the roundy line because all they are, these are the more of the shell things. So if you want to rub out the, hand, the line, you can, but it doesn't matter. You could literally put flowers there if you like. So you could do some cool big daisies, you could do awesome stuff, so you don't have to, or just a bikini top if you like, it doesn't matter, but shells look kind of cool. Then what you're going to do is, most women don't have a tiny waist, but because we're going to do, I don't, <laughs> but because we're going to do uh, like a cartoon, we're going to make it so it touch just there and go down, and then touch just there and go down. So it's kind of, she's got quite a thin bit there. Cause it's probably because she needs to swim a lot. So if you think about swimmers, they're quite thin because they need to move through the water quick. So once you've done that, we're going to do the whole swishy tail. So we want to do the fact that she's sitting a little bit. So she's got a bit of a round bit there. So just think round oh. bit there. It's kind of like her hips. So do the hips and then you're going to go whoosh, just all the way down. It's almost like she's wearing an evening dress, which is kind of cool. And then here, we're going to go, we're going to kind of do a different way. We're going to follow the line round. Think about a fish's tail. So it's going to go round like that. So what you've got is you've got her, her kind of like chest, her stomach. And then we're going to have her, her, her hips. And then you go all the way down. Then you're going to have some really cool swooshy kind of um what's the word fins like a tail so we're gonna do we're gonna do the tail in a minute i want to kind of do the arms so the arms become a bit easier now because you're going to touch here and you're going to go down so you got your you got this bit and you're going down to create this bit so this is this bit and then here you do the same go down so we're doing the upper arm it's these bits doing those first then we decide if we want to how we want the arms to go with here so they can go this way they can go that way they can go any other way 
but, but we want to create the arms so we're gonna go so these are the up, up the upper arm bits so just draw those in try and get them the same width if you don't it doesn't matter and then you're gonna do this I don't know if you can tell my arm no, I'm, I'm well, I can't speak I'm hypermobile so it just means that my arm kind of goes a little bit more than maybe it normally would but it's got the long line there and then you've got another bit so you've got the joint here so we're going to just do this then always gets thinner as you get to here because it's the wrist and then we do the other one her arm is behind in the distance so that one looks like it's a lot longer and if I'm honest don't know if it would be that long so we're just gonna maybe shorten it a little bit shorten it a bit otherwise she's got like a super long hand on the arm right now what I want to do can you see my collarbones we're gonna just add those in so we're just gonna do a line there and a line there and we want to just go just go la 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 with a little belly button so she's got a belly button there and then here it would be nice to just kind of go around because they're kind of bits of they're almost like they're tied up it's got all little bits of oh, I don't know got scales I suppose and you've got it looks really nice when you start to do detail on it so this will go into the fin so now we're going to put some the tail end so we're going to go down Think about a fish's tail. So like, doesn't matter how you do it. And if you're finding that difficult, you want to just touch that there and go out, pointy, in. So just give that a go if you can. What I thought would be really cool is we can like create bits. Like the piece of the, I really can't speak today. If you think about fin and you think about a mermaid and you think about all the creatures under the sea they've all they're all quite mystical they're all quite awesome so you kind of want to make it look quite interesting you could do this which are the scales all the way across but you probably don't need to I'd probably do a couple here and here or just crisscross if you want just crisscross, crisscross. It doesn't matter too much as long as you've got the look of it. Now we want to do the arms, the hands. What I like to do is just keep it simple. You want to just do out, out. So just two lines out. So she's going, can you see my hand? Just doing that. <laughs> so you're going to go back, back. Just, just like that. They're her little thumbs. So she's doing that ultimately. I can't tell, I can't show you because I, I need to jump, but she's doing that. So that's all you need to do. And then what I thought would be really cool is we could do the face. Now I'm gonna move it closer for the face because obviously it's quite far away, isn't it? So let's do the face. I might keep it like that actually. I think I'll keep it like that because it's a lot bigger, isn't it? It's a lot easier for you to see. I don't know why I didn't do that before. <laughs> okay, as long as you know what you're doing and it's easier for you. Uh, we're going to do a line here. A bit like the portrait one that I did on the other video. And we're going to decide where the eyes go. So they go about there, nose goes about there, lips go about there. So just draw that on super lightly. Like you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it too um, dark because we're going to rub some of it out. So now we're going to do the eyes. So rainbow, rainbow, upside down rainbow, upside down rainbow. Then you've got the bobbly bit in the eye. If you're not sure how to do it, you can do your own cartoon one. Or follow that video on portraits. And then you know, you know your nose is going to be there because you've already done the line. This is your lips. Like that. 
And we want to shape the face now because otherwise she looks a bit like an egg. So we want to shape it. So what I tend to do is I've got a line like that and then it kind of goes out and then you've got your jaw. Now because it's from the side, we're going to do a line with our jaw and then go like that. So her neck becomes a bit longer. In reality, she's got a way big chin. Look at her big chin. But they are, that's okay. Why not? My chin's a bit smaller, but let's give her a big chin if she wants one. Okay, now, no one hair. So this is my parting. We're gonna go here. Most mermaids might not have a parting. I've got a parting today, but then I'm not a mermaid. I could pretend I'm a mermaid. <laughs> but we're gonna go. Just do that first of all, then, so that's really basic that hair, so we want to make it look more mermaidy. So we're going to do this, we're going to touch the line and we're going to go curly bits, we're going to create curls. If you want to do the curls before we do this, because you don't have to do it this way, this one's just a simpler way. Now it's it's under her arm it's there her, her hair because it's behind her back so we're gonna go la, la, la. that's all hair so she's got like super long hair if you like so all of its hair and then we want to cover some of the face with hair because it probably wouldn't be just like that with the head so I'm going to touch the part in and I'm just gonna go I might give her some bits going around there, so around the egg, and then I'm going to rub out this line, because we do not need that line anymore. So I rub out the egg. I'm rubbing out the egg line. If you want to, you can rub out these lines, because then it looks like it belongs to the hair more. If you can't because it's too complicated, just do the hair how you want to do the hair. Some people might want to do straight hair. Don't know if I like the line on this bit, so I probably would rub that out now and just know that there is a, there's some form of line. I don't think I need it there. And I'm going to rub out what's in the face because she looks like she's wearing a mask. So I'm going to rub all this out and if I by accident rub her face out, which I kind of am doing, aren't I? <laughs> if I rub her face out, it's okay. So I'm going to add it back in. There we go. Right. So I'm going to add it back in in a minute. What I thought would be kind of cool is we could just put some magical splodges around. And I like this because it looks like fairyland. I just think it looks kind of cool. So you can add that. You do not need to add that. But... I think it looks kind of cool like that. She's got a lot under there because she's probably quite magical. The hair, you could do some lines in there just to make it look like it's hair. Ah, hair here, hair there. I was going to say a poem, but I completely forgot it. <laughs> right, we're going to do, I'm just going to draw over the line. I'm drawing over what I've rubbed out by accident. All right, I think that's it, isn't it? So what we're gonna do, she looks a little bit confused because I rubbed it out and threw it back in. So we've got the rough outline of her there. Her lips look, her lips look a bit strange. I'm trying to think what we could color it in with. There we go, it looks a bit better now. What I would like to colour it in with, I think what I'll do as well is I don't like knowing that she needs, she doesn't really need a line of her chin, she just needs a little line. The rest's kind of obvious that her head's attached. <laughs> so what we're going to do, should I use chalks? I'm going to do, no, oh, I don't know. Do you know what? I kind of want to do watercolours, so I'm going to do these. Da -da -da. So you might have some. If you don't, doesn't matter doesn't really matter what you use as long as you colour it in really cool. Now the skin colour could be any skin colour you want, it can be a light colour like mine, it can be a beautiful brown, it can be a beautiful black, it can be a really nice almost like a white pale skin, whatever you want. But 
what if it's dark skinned then you want to do the probably really colorful here and here so don't have a brown shell if your skin's brown because then you won't see the the outfit on necessarily but if your skin's white maybe you want a darker color so just as you go along see how you feel so first of all I'm gonna do gonna take a color like skin and I don't have one which is always nice so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a chalk for my skin because I haven't got a watercolor of the same color so it's kind of like this color which isn't even my skin if I'm honest my mum's French so we've kind of got an olive skin so I'm gonna just color where it's skin now if you want you could be completely green because they don't have to be human colour. But I just thought it'd be quite nice to show you with this, minus the uh, white tip X on the face, but I can ignore that, can't I? Get your little finger. You've probably got a really nice watercolour pencil that you're using, so you're probably doing better than I am right now. <laughs> and ignore the face with the white bits on. Now, I kind of like the idea of her having black hair because black's awesome. So I think what I might do is, I'm not gonna use watercolor <laughs> just because it takes a long time. Um, I'm gonna do, I do the black last normally, but I'm getting quite excited by the hair because she's got so much of it. So I wanna, I'm going around, can you see where I'm going? Hopefully someone can see where I'm going, because <laughs> I'm not quite sure. <laughs> right, let's go. Now, you could colour inside completely, or you could do what I'm doing, which is lightly colour inside. I think if I had more time, I would probably colour completely inside, so it's really dark. But it's up to you. It's kind of cool if you can base it on yourself and if you're not a girl or a woman you could base it on your mum or your sister or your friend or your cousin whoever you think that could like oh do you know what would be really awesome which I completely didn't think about red hair like Ariel how cool would that be do red I would pr actually probably put a bit of red in this now <laughs> I love the idea of red hair Ah, oh, it looked beautiful with red hair. So do you know what? I think, do you know what? I'm gonna put a bit of red in there. Just so it's like a dark black with a bit of red. Probably won't show up, but oh, red would have looked cool. Oh. But anyway, maybe I could do another one and put red. So the hair is all right. It's not perfect, but yours is gonna be awesome. And now I'm gonna do what I want to try and get is for the scales I want to do like a really cool bluey green so I'm going to get blue and green and I want to do this I'm going to outline most of it in green then I'm going to take the green away and I'm going to get the blue and I'm going to go over I don't know if I'd, use, I'd probably use watercolour for these because chalks are not as detailed. Then, little finger that's hopefully clean. This is where you want to do the black last because it might smudge the black by accident. So there's my cool tail. The shells could be any colours you like. I kind of like, I've got this awesome pink. She certainly will get seen, won't she, by the ships. If she swam with this bikini top oh but it looks kind of cool so imagine like a colorful shell it doesn't have to be it could be any color you like like i said before what you want to do is be careful the black doesn't go on the on the skin now you can give her red lips if you want and again if you're doing watercolor it's easier because chalk's super hard to keep it neat and then I'm going to give her eyes, like blue eyes, with black bits in the middle. Oh man, oh, sorry, but I lost it again. As in the chalks, not. 
I'm going to give her some eyelashes. You could do some really cool detail here. I mean, mine's just super quick and a bit messy. So you could do yours like way neater than this. Because that's roughly my mermaid. As I say, I would probably... Where's my... Where's my black boat? Oh, I don't know about you, but I seem to lose everything. <laughs> I literally lose everything. I'm going to get you... Or am I? I've got a black oil pastel, which I really want to go over the hair to show you how it all looks awesome when it's dark black. I'm only doing oil pastel because that's the only thing that goes over my Tipex line. But can you see, the more it's black and dark, like red, as I say, you're looking at a mess You could do like sisters where one's red haired and one's black. So that's roughly my mermaid. I mean, she's pretty cute like that. She looks kind of cool. She looks happy-ish. I wish I'd done her in pigtails like me. So we want to do, I can't get my blue out, right. I can't get my blue out of the pot. So I'm going to do some blue here, like swirly bits of water. A little bit of green swirly bits. Yeah. Live the dream. Ooh. So there is my mermaid, Holly and Electra. Let me know how you get on. And if you didn't want to do the black hair, like I say, do the red. Everyone else, let me know how you get on as well. Send me your pictures. You could sign it at the bottom. I'm just going to sign it. I'm going to sign it here. No. Okay, that's my signature. Um, I mean, yeah, like I said, you could do blonde hair, you could do red hair, you could do any hair you desire. And uh, I think I've smudged it slightly there. But you want to put... Curl, oh, curly hair is awesome. So you want it all over the all over the place, really, to make it look kind of mystical. Awesome. Okay, subscribe, like, and share, and let me know what you do. See you tomorrow. Mwah.